2020. And then in the timeline, we said, okay, this is five days of coil, which the direct information is given. And this is the most confusing part of a value stream mapping and most disheartening portion of a value stream mapping. The process lead time in a value stream mapping, the way that which it is assumed is, if you stand in the queue, suppose if you are the coin and you stand in the queue and you go through first in first out throughout the system, how much time will you take to become the finished good is what is called as a process lead time. For you, suppose if you are the coil and the coil is cut into small pieces and made into bracket for stamping, after stamping, it is you. So for you to come out of that coil will take only one second, but you will have to wait for five days because before you, there is a big roll. All of them have to be stamped and made into small, small pieces. And finally, a dot is kept on the coil. And when you are stamped, for you, it takes only one second. Then, if you see the inventory of 4,600 pieces of left bracket and 4,600, uh, 2,400 pieces of the right bracket are here. Let me just disable attended annotation for our others and let me spotlight. So here, okay, so if you see here, 4,600 pieces and 2,400. Now, when you are stamped here and you took only one second for you to stamp, but then if you have to go through first in first out, you have to wait till 4,600 of left is completed and 2,400 of right is completed. And then it takes 7.6 days to complete that. After that only your turn comes. This is the most difficult portion of understanding the value stream map. People who are seeing the value stream map second time, third time, it might be a little bit clear. But who are seeing for the first time, it may not be clear. You have to go through the book and start internalizing. So you have to wait for 7.6 days before you, the single piece of a bracket. Now you are the piece, okay? You are the piece. You have to wait for 7.6 days before you come to the welding location. But in welding location, it takes 39 seconds on you. They weld you and the time taken for you to be welded is only 39 seconds. All right. Now, after that, no, uh, we will come to the available time, eight into two hours, all that we will come later. Okay. Now, after 39 seconds of you being welded, you need to wait for already there is a thousand hundred of left and 600 of right and for for that to go around it will take 1.8 days after 1.8 days only your turn comes assuming that you go first in first out and similarly 46 seconds for welding two and then you will have to wait for 2.7 days and then 62 seconds of this operation you will have to wait for two days and then 40 seconds of this so this is my question to you. Assume that there are no inventory here. How much time will it take for you to come out? Assume that these inventories are not there. Now what the calculation of the value stream map says, like this, let's calculate. So this inventory, finished good inventory, 188 seconds is the value added time. Most of you are correct. So give a pat on the shoulders, thumbs up. Now, the value added time is the only time. And what is value adding is something that we had already explained. This 
no, you, it has to physically change the form, fit or function. It has to be done right the first time and customer should be caring or willing to pay for that activity. So these are the three conditions. And of course, we know stamping is a value adding activity provided it is done right the first time. Welding is a value added activity. Assembly is a value added activity because it is changing the form, fit or function and done right the first time. And customer needs that assembly. Now the question is, how did you arrive at five days is simple. Five days of coil, somebody gave the answer. But this is a question to you. How will you calculate this 11? Let's take a simple example. Okay, let's take this 1100 L and 600 right, totally 1700 pieces. 1700 pieces in order to be converted, how much time will it take? You know, the cycle time here is 46 seconds. Of course, the answer is 1.8 days, but please do the calculation in your own logic. Only then you will understand this answer. So now this is my question to you. How many of you used the cycle time, which is 46 seconds in your calculation? The thing is, if the customer requirement per day is so much, that is customer demand is the one that we use to calculate the number of days. All of you take good notes here. And this is the most important learning in value stream map. I'll repeat again. Irrespective of what is a cycle time. Irrespective, the cycle time may be one second. Suppose I convert all that, if it is one second, to convert 1700 pieces, it takes 1700 seconds. But is customer going to take that? Yes or no? No, he'll not take. He'll not take. Right? So, just because you have converted everything in one day or half a day or one hour doesn't matter to the customer. Even if you do it fast, the customer is going to take the frequency in which he wants. So, please write in your notes that customer demand is used to calculate, to convert inventory into number of days. Let's take a very easy example. Very, very easy example. In a month, there are 25 working days. We work all the 24 hours in a day. Let's assume we work 24 hours in a day. The customer wants, the customer wants, let's say, let me put calculation in this thing. Suppose if they, if monthly requirement is 60,000 pieces, 60,000 pieces of some product, 60,000 pieces of some product. And there are 25 working days, 25 working days. So, Suppose I have, let's say, an inventory in a process. So per day, how much is required? Suppose it's a single step process. I To just simplify the whole thing, I say it's a single step process. Per day, how much is required? 2,400. 60,000 divided by 25, 2,400 is required. Now I have a raw material. I will convert it to finish good in a single step. So 2,400 is required in a day. I hope this is clear. Now the next step of understanding. Suppose if my process can convert 2,400 pieces in one shift, in one shift, and I operate in three shifts. Generally, I operate in three shifts. So there is a raw material which I am converting in eight hours. How many days of inventory is that? Half a day of inventory? Or three days of inventory? So if I produce one third, okay, you said one third of day of inventory, right? If I produce only, if I convert everything into, so we will say it is eight hours of inventory. 
you might say it is eight hours of inventory. Now, as far as value stream mapping is concerned, it is one day of inventory because even if you convert that in eight hours, or even if you convert that in 10 hours, or even if you convert that in 24 hours, customer is going to take only 2,400 pieces. Customer is going to take, even if you convert all the 2,400 pieces in one hour, it is not one hour of inventory, it is one day of inventory. So if this understanding is clear, then value stream mapping is easy. So most of the people get stuck here. And most of the people, even some of the, with due regards to all consultants, they do a mistake here. They calculate the inventory by the cycle time and say it within so many hours, I will convert. And so only so many hours of inventory. But then if the customer doesn't take, it will, it will go fast and finally go into the finished goods. Yeah, inventory not cleared before the customer picked up. As simple as that. So even if you do it fast, it will go end up in the finished goods and the customer is not going to pick up. He is going to pick up in his own pace. So please use customer demand to convert inventory into number of days.